Okay, so for this problem, we need to find the, the, the two quartiles. We need to find the interquartile range. We got to find the lower fence and upper fence and check for outliers. Now, this question is not going to ask you to find outliers, but that's, that's the end result. Okay, and we'll talk about that. So how do we do this? We don't want to sort these, all these numbers by hand. So what I'm going to do, is I'm going to start up in that last, that first cell and select them all. And I'm just selecting the numbers in the cell. I recommend you use a mouse for this rather than a trackpad, but that's your call. And now see how I've got those all highlighted? Well, I'm on a PC, so I'm going to press Control-C. If you're on a Chromebook, it does the same way, Control, then C. At the same time, we'll copy the memory. If you're on a Mac, you have to do um, Command-C. I've got those selected. I'm going to come to my spreadsheet, and I'm only going to click once. See, if I click twice on a cell, and I try to paste it in, you see how they all go in the same cell? Well, that doesn't do us any good. We want them in separate cells. So click once and then do Control V as in Vinny. And you see how they get it in separate cells? Now, to do anything with a spreadsheet with a set of data, yes, we can do this without doing this, but it makes it a lot easier if we do. So what I'm going to do is select. I'm going to put all these numbers in a column. So I've selected all the rest of the columns. And we can do some dragging if you want, but I think it's easier if you do Control X to cut it. You see the way it's get the dotted line? Then click below that one and Control V and it moves everything. You just do this a few times and it's pretty easy. It doesn't have to, you know, you know sometimes you're trying to drag cells around. It, uh, it you know, you, you don't quite get it right. I think this Control cut and then pasting works really well. And there's other ways to do this, but I think this is the most direct way. And doesn't take that much time. Certainly a lot faster than typing in how many numbers are there. Certainly a lot better than typing in 54 numbers. So I've got all those numbers in a row in a column. And now I'm going to select them all because it's really nice to have these numbers in order when we're starting to look for outliers. So I've selected them all. And for data, I click on data. And I'm going to sort range in that column. And notice what it does. It puts them all in order, lowest to greatest. I didn't have to think too much more. Now, this exercise is asking us to find two quartiles in the IQR. So that's all I'm gonna find. You can find the rest of the data, but since that's all we need to do for this, so I'm gonna do some labels for me. Uh, Q1, Q3, IQR for interquartile range, and then the lower fence and the upper fence. Okay, and now the way we get the quartile is I'm gonna do equals. Remember, we're doing a spreadsheet, type, type equals, equals, and I'm gonna start typing the word quartile, and you see the way it pops up? And we're just gonna select them all, select that whole column of numbers. And because this is the first quartile, I need to do comma one. So I do quartile equals quartile, select the range of cells that I want, and then comma one. And you can close the parentheses if you want, you don't have to. Okay, so there's quartile one. Now we'll do the same thing for quartile three. We'll do equals, start typing in quartile, select all those cells, much easier than doing this by hand. And then comma three, because it's the third quartile. Whoop, just three. Okay, now to get the interquartile inter range, we're gonna subtract those two. So I'm going to do equals, I'm going to click on Q3, notice the way it puts the cell, then minus, click on Q1. And that's the interquartile range. Now to find the lower fence, remember it's one and a half interquartile range is below Q1. So I'm going to do equals, I'm going to click on my Q1 number, minus 1.5 times my interquartile range. So if you see all those cells that got selected, press enter. To do the upper quartile, upper fence, we'll do equals, click on Q3, plus 1.5 times the IQR cell. And there's my upper fence. And if you come along and look at the answers, let's see, I guess I could type them all in, but since I'm in teacher mode, I can just click on the answers. Notice there's Q1, Q1 that matches what the spreadsheet found. There's the Q3 that matches what the spreadsheet found. 
The IQR is the difference. So far, so good. The lower fence, 177.65. Upper fence. Oh, the upper fence is different. Oh, what did I do wrong? Okay, let's see here. Plus 1.5 times. Oh, D8. Do you see what I did? See my, my good thing I checked. So I'm going to click on the IQR cell. I clicked on the lower fence. Okay, so 6, D6 plus 1.5 times the IQR. Notice the way it's purple, D7 is purple, and IQR is purple. Nice little feature. Does that agree now? That does agree. So that's how you fix your mistakes, <laughs> and that's how you calculate this by hand. I'll place this link. I'll, I'll put a share link uh, to this spreadsheet in, in, my, in the YouTube video uh, comment area. So if you need to, if you watch this video out on YouTube, you'll be able to access that.